no good. Okay, you want her? Yeah. Yes, you're a biter. So. Stop it. <laughs> can you say that in ultrasound? <laughs> oh, I wish. Stop it. So what we have here, we're, um, this is Christina Kocher, and Christina is a technician with the Connecticut DEP, bat specialist, she's the bat babe. And what we're doing today is banding four big brown bats, three uh, that were pups last year, and uh, came from Litchfield, and one who came out of hibernation a little bit early, and he's from Goshen. So this is one of our Litchfield pups, it's a little female. And Christina, you can actually tell us what you're doing with them. And that I would be great. am measuring their right forearm length. Um, just a standard measurement we take on the bats. I'm going to take a weight on her. I especially love the sophisticated um, <laughs> piece of equipment Beautiful. you have for weighing. It's great. Yes, it works very well. And she <laughs> cooperate with me. Satisfied customer. Now you gotta yeah. get her out. <laughs> yeah, she'll come out. Might as well get that on tape because she's cute in there and quite happy. Didn't want to go in, now she's not gonna want to come out. Okay. And then Christina has a beautiful piece of jewelry for her. And normally in the past, um, big brown bats that were intercepted by people like me were just sort of fixed up and set free. But right now the DEP is banding everybody. And can, can you um, actually address why, why big brown bats that are normally so common here in Connecticut are, are being banded, Christina? Well, we're trying to get an idea of where they're going and what's happening to them after they've been in rehab because there's so few left because um, of white nose syndrome. Um, has really affected the population a lot. We really don't know a lot about where they're going and what's happening to them now. So, trying to get as much information as we can. <laughs> Those make this difficult. Can I help at all? I think I'm doing all right. I'll get there eventually. Much easier. Yeah, don't try this at home anyway, <laughs> honestly. A bat will only bite in self defense, and obviously, this bat would love to defend itself right now. So, we just put a band on his wing, or her wing, so that if we find her again, we'll know who she is. Oh, she doesn't like me at all. She said, I've never, don't think I've ever seen one so ticked off. She's pretty upset. <laughs> First customer, and then we're going to pop her in this carrier as a little holding tank. And she's going to be extremely happy. <laughs> she's she looks, very, looks very good. A nice healthy bat. And still click, click, clicking. Nice happy, healthy bat. Wouldn't have been too healthy if that nice woman hadn't brought her to me last year. Super. Mm-hmm. Doesn't seem to appreciate it much, but that's okay. 